Oh, good afternoon. Oof, oof, oof. I have a touch of the Andy Warhols today. Uh, this is how it is when you haven't got the Buddhist skull. And so, I guess, what's this? Oh, more hair. Yes, you're going to have to put up with me. More people notice how my hair is than what I'm saying, so. What I thought I'd talk to you about today is where we find ourselves planetarily and from a tarot point of view. I've been giving tarot classes uh, to senior students for the last few weeks and I'm inviting people to come and have a tarot uh, training with me if you're interested. If you're interested in a tarot Zoom training with me, also let me know. Uh, email me on yoga first or one word at netcon.net.au all ends no ends um, and we'll discuss putting together a zoom tarot training now this will be as new for me as it is for anybody and you know I'm of the paper and pencil variety of teacher so it's a big it's a big step for me. So I hope you had a wonderful winter, summer solstice wherever you are in the world today. And uh, the seasons, oh, they're very strange at the moment here in Australia. Uh, it's one of the wettest seasons that we've had, I think, for about eight years. I know that because my garden is so sodden. It's like a sponge and water is running into the back blocks and uh, the uh, fish pond has overflowed for the first time in eight years and the grouchy neighbour is even more grouchy because of course it's all my fault. And so yes, things are definitely changing. Uh, the change of seasons usually is what I applaud but this consistent dampness even if we are Camelot and it rains at night time uh, it still is very wet so that no matter where you are or what the weather is I hope you have time to experience the very interesting place we find ourselves in at the moment and don't grizzle too much about it so what we're looking at here is an historic lineup of the planets, a retrograde with five retrograde planets. Now, uh, the last time something like this happened uh, was in 2001, I think, and that was about the time of the, the uh, two Twin Towers, 9-11. And then before that, it was 1989, was that correct? Um, and that was when AIDS first was acknowledged. So we've got AIDS, uh, Twin Towers, and now we have COVID. And what is happening here, it's all about the secret being made manifest. So things that were hidden are being made manifest. So we shouldn't be frightened of them because they've been here all the time. Uh, AIDS was there and then suddenly boom, you know, it's always been there from long before we, we made it into an issue. And, uh, well, it became an issue. And then the terrorists were there long before they bombed the towers. And COVID has been here long, long before it challenged us in COVID. I mean... COVID is just a virus and viruses are opportunists and they look for somewhere to be that is convenient for them. And when the, we are their hosts, the only way that will move on is if we die, in, fit, in which case they've won, or we get stronger and they move on. So the idea nobody's talking about is nutrition is the only uh, answer to COVID-19. The virus will always be here, always be with us. So what we have to do, all the evidence points towards the fact we have to get stronger. 
So for the next six months, there will be a lot of delays. There will be a solar eclipse. So that tells me, you know, that it really is meaning the invisible will become visible. For the next six months, we've got lessons to learn. It does, however, if you look at the um, astrological signs for the USA, say there will be huge changes in political power. And after December, there will be a new cycle, a 20-year cycle of fantastic growth, specifically in the areas of um, computers. So all things digital. Though I'm hoping that, like me, that you are looking at becoming very, very digital and very, very aware. I don't like doing it. You know, it's not something that I'm used to. I always said to you, I'm a Luddite. I'm the person who likes a pen and ink and going back to doing things the old fashioned way. But I'm sorry, the planets are not telling me that I'm allowed to do that. I have to learn to be digital. So I, the card that I drew for this week was the tower. So when the tower shows up, expect the unexpected. It kind of links in very nicely with the way the planets are doing. Change is here and it's here for our highest good. We have to see it from the top of the tower. Okay. This can be a very confusing and disorienting time when your beliefs on every level are being challenged. So allow yourself to submit to the process. Change on this level isn't easy, but trust that new life is happening for you, not to you. Uh, the changes the tower brings will allow new growth to emerge so that your soul can evolve. So it's a blessing in disguise. Mercury retrograde in the same way doesn't have to be as dramatic as you might think. It's a time of challenge and change, but it can be positive, a time of rebuilding. I always used to worry when I saw any retrograde planets on the astrological calendar, especially with stories about travel delays and usually it coincided with technical disasters and things going backwards and things not working out. But over a long period of time, I just have learned to get prepared. I just think, oh, retrograde, okay. What could be difficult? What can I do to be prepared for this? So this time it heralded the arrival of COVID and it has brought forth, you know, lots of difficulties in our consciousness in previous solar lunar eclipses. So I'd like you to spread your cards and ask these questions. At this time, with the planets in these alignments, with Mer Mercury going retrograde, what am I supposed to be paying attention to? What is it bringing into my awareness? You might like to ask yourself what you need to look again at during this time. What do you need to rework? Something that you haven't understood properly, perhaps. What factors that have been hidden from me are now out in the open and I need to be aware of? What precautions can I take to make the landing better? You know. I'm not quite sure how to say that, but you know what I mean. And while the rest of the world is, world is going bonkers, you will be able to just glide through it and think, oh, I know what this is, I know where I'm going, I know what I'm doing. So when you've done that spread, please contact me.
I gave you the email yoga first at netcon.net.au please email me and let me know how you've gone with that spread for this week because uh, it's very interesting we're in we're in a very interesting time and uh, the astrologers and the tarot readers are the only ones really that are seeing it clearly and heralding it clearly you know science is running around after its tail looking for vaccines and worrying about what particular wet market it would cause that. That's all very interesting, but it's not going to help you right now. What you need right now is a really good understanding of how you can move forward uh, with great confidence and take advantage of the situation in the most positive way. I'm going to do more study uh, so that uh, when you do get on the Zoom with me, I will have more in my grab bag uh, that I can help you with, and me with, of course. You can never do enough study. Namaste. I wonder if you can hear the rain. It started to rain, and it doesn't look like it's going to stop. Namaste. Namaste.